Hello, traders and investors. Welcome to our in-depth technical analysis of United Parcel Service UPS stock on the NYSE as of July 29, 2025. Today, we're diving into the data to unpack the price action, volume trends, technical indicators, and what's next for UPS. After a dramatic sell-off, this stock is at a critical juncture. Let's break it down. General Overview and Trend on July 29, 2025, UPS closed at 90.84, a sharp drop from the previous day's close of 101.58, driven by an explosive volume of 26,112,264 shares, the highest in the data set. The stock plummeted from an open of 98.185 to a low of 90.72 with a high of 98.185, reflecting intense selling pressure. Over the past three months, UPS has shown volatility ranging from a low of 90.72, July 29th, to a high of 106.46, July 3rd. The short-term trend is strongly bearish, with the stock breaking below all key moving averages, including the 200-day SMA 200 at 100.884978067965.3 and EMA 200 at 99.860714477843, signaling potential for further downside unless support holds. Price and Volume Dynamics the July 29th session was a pivotal moment for UPS, with a volume of 26,112,264 shares, far exceeding the typical 3 to 7 million shares seen in prior sessions. This followed another high volume day on June 20th with 11,096,554 shares. The volume weighted average price, VWAP, on July 29th was 97.343178746567, much above the close at 90.84, indicating heavy selling throughout the day. The on-balance volume, OBV, dropped to negative 14,292,335, reflecting strong distribution, while the Chaikin oscillator plummeted to negative 8,453,180.1948912, confirming intense selling pressure. This volume spike likely signaled a major catalyst, such as disappointing earnings, negative news, or market-wide selling. Moving averages. Moving averages highlight the bearish shift. On July 29th, the five-day SMA5 was 100.407999939 and EMA5 of 98.31462933365, both well above the closing price of 90.84, confirming the sharp breakdown. The 10-day SMA10 and EMA10 also indicate the stock is trading below short-term averages. Longer-term averages, including the 20-day SMA20 and EMA20, 50-day SMA50 and EMA50, and 200-day SMA200 and EMA200, are all above the current price, reinforcing the bearish trend and potential resistance levels around 99 to 101. Technical Indicators Let's dive into the key technical indicators to assess UPS's momentum and potential direction. Momentum Indicators RSI 14 At 30.709535250418.16, the 14-day relative strength index is near oversold territory, down sharply from 52.054962689.3 on July 28th, signaling strong bearish momentum. Stochastic K58 at 51.074883058.22 with Stochastic D58 at 43.723766125, the K line above the D line suggests a potential pause in selling but momentum remains weak. Stochastic K55 at 46.614377795323 with Stochastic D55 at 67.541405801818, the K-line below the D-line indicates fading short-term momentum. Williams R14 at minus 99.12854030966, it reflects the stock's proximity to its recent low, consistent with oversold conditions. 
Momentum 1.0 at minus 8.68999999999991, this negative value confirms the bearish shift over the last 10 days. Volatility indicators. The 14-day average true range spiked to 2.568170605543, reflecting heightened volatility, critical for setting stop losses. Bollinger Bands got upper band BB upper at 107.227007683, the middle band BB middle 20-day SMA at 100.1895000000000001, and the lower band BB lower at 95.15192384467, the close at 90.84 is below the lower band signaling an oversold condition and potential for a bounce or further breakdown. Trend indicators. The 14-day average directional index at 17.596385787343333 shows a weakening trend, suggesting the sell-off may lack sustained direction. Arun up at 32, with Arun down at 100 and Arun ask 14 at negative 92.857142857, the downtrend is dominant. MACD. The MACD line is at negative 0.417936055939370, below the signal line at 0.217151442305552, with a negative histogram at negative 0.6350874982449934, confirming bearish momentum. Volume based indicators. Chaken Osk at negative 8453180194891 the negative value aligns with the OBV drop indicating strong selling pressure MFI 14 at 23.987729781272525 is in oversold territory reflecting heavy selling and reduced buying interest other indicators, the parabolic SAR at 104.16 is above the current price supporting the bearish outlook. Tima WUM2 at 99.205527024866 is above the close reinforcing short-term bearishness. Ultimate OSC at 32.6350496204711 suggests weak momentum with potential for a reversal if buying resumes. Linear regression. The 14-day time series forecast, TSF14, is at 99.026373673 above the closing price of 90.84, indicating UPS is trading below its linear regression trend line, potentially oversold in the short term. Prediction for the next trading day. Given the closing price of 90.84, VWAP of 97.343178747, and oversold RSI 14 of 30.709535204816, UPS could open between 90.50 and 92.50 on July 30th, 2025. The high ATR 14 of 2.568170605543 and negative MACD histogram at negative 0.6350874982449934 suggest continued volatility with a potential bounce due to oversold conditions or further selling if bearish sentiment persists. Support and resistance levels. Immediate support is at 90.72, July 29th, followed by 88 to 90 if the sell-off continues, as no prior lows in the data set are below 90.72. Resistance is immediate resistance at 95.15199238467, followed by 99.026373673 and 100.289507668571 if a bounce occurs. Intraday price range estimate. Using the ATR14 of 2.568170605543, the next trading day's potential high is 90.84 plus 2.568170605543, which equals 93.408170605543. And the low is 90.84 minus 2.568170605543, which equals 88.271829394. 5, this suggests volatility between 88.27 and 93.41, consistent with the recent price action. Potential scenarios. 
Bullish scenario. If buying volume returns and RSI 14 remains above 30, UPS could bounce to 95.15 or 99.03, especially with a positive catalyst like market stabilization or bargain hunting. Bearish scenario. If selling pressure persists with RSI 14 dropping further, UPS could test 88 to 90, particularly if negative news continues. Neutral scenario. UPS may consolidate between 88.27 and 93.41 as traders assess the oversold conditions and await further catalyst. Interesting fact. The volume of 26,112,264 shares on July 29, 2025 was the highest in the data set, surpassing the previous peak of 11,096,554 shares. Paired with an 11.07% drop and an MFI 14 of 23.987729781272725 suggests panic selling or a major institutional exit, making UPS a high-risk play for traders looking for a potential reversal. Conclusion. UPS is in a sharp, bearish mode.